tayo with the flowers. Ah, una Um, napakalaki ng pasalamat ko sa audience natin kasi again as we all know this story talaga sobrang impactful sobrang relevant po sa ating society lalo na dito sa Pilipinas kasi uh, lahat po ng sinasabi namin at pinapakita namin is very accurate talaga sa ating um, um, society and atmosphere so I'm very thankful for the audience and I'm very thankful to the production team uh, for actors and for artists and I would say Uh, ABS-CBN, of course. I'm just very thankful for that. Ray, it's kind of comfortable with the ABS-CBN. What are you doing? I think it's just the environment talaga, um, and um, awareness. So I, I think more on mga Pinoy films, because I'm a big fan of films in general. So. Parang nung mas na ano talaga ako, na-inlove din ako sa mga pelikula ng Pinoy. Uh, I just watched uh, Kuya Pros, Mayari, tapos uh, Gumburza. Yung Gumburza, grabe yung Pinoy. And of course, uh, General Luna. I think yung ano talaga, yung awareness lang talaga. Tsaka yung adaptation ng palagi mo nakikita, palagi mo naririnig. Yun yung number one po talaga sa akin. Yung pepe duling. Hindi naman, hindi naman. Nakala ko yung duling. Ito sa role mo. Um, of course, with every role, naman po, kasi I think it's a pressure of the sense of responsibility. Because lahat talaga, of course, this is an opportunity na hindi po lahat na bibigyan. At I'm so fortunate and so thankful and grateful na nabigyan po sa akin itong character and this um, depth of uh, of a story. Talaga yung number one po talaga yung pagsusulat at yung mismo story at concept ng uh, isang telesery or any project. So, um, sa mga writers namin, sobrang uh, mahanga po talaga ako kasi yung prosesong yun talaga, it's lonely pero it's really a artistic, creative endeavor na napakahirap at napakakailangan na spetuhin po. So, in that sense, as an artist, as, as an actor, as, um, as a performing artist, I would say, um, yung preparation po talaga yung nakakawala ng, ano eh, ng anxiety or any pressure. So, I think we had the proper um, rework, we had the proper pre-production, we had the... Uh, Um, a couple of workshops and team buildings. Our, our main um, acting facilitator was Miss Angie Cristense. I would like to thank her for that. And I think just the working environment with the whole directors, the whole cast, the whole crew. Sobrang uh, comfortable. Yun yung kasi as an artista, yun yung unang-unang hahanapin mo eh. Pag nag-relax ka na, lahat madali na kung flow na lang po yung character, yung lines hindi mo na po iniisip, yung instinct na lang, yung instinct mo na lang po yung uh, lumalabas po doon. Great po yung project po po kami, Jessica? I've done uh, 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 quite a few projects, but I think this is the biggest one. Yung huling uh, project ko po was Ang Sayo Akin, I think was 2021 to 2022. Um, Katambal ko po doon si Miss Kira Ballinger at uh, anak po ko ni Miss um, Jody Santa Maria. And my character there was more of like a Romeo and Juliet story. It's very lovely. But again, this one, this Pamela Sagrado, um, first time ko po na parang kasama sa pinakabida po, of course, with uh, Kuya Piolo and Kyle. So I think it's a um, very big step for me in my um, artistic um, career. Actually, yeah, because uh, how many years have you been active right now? Um, um, for acting, I would say since my, my biggest role, I would say... Um, I, I did a guest guest star sa ano sa Al Provinciano. So I remember that's 2018. Pero I've done some smaller yeah, roles. But imagine, like, wala, wala pang one decade, right? Mm -hmm. But now you've been, you've been given this super so ambigat na uh -huh. role, diba? So it's a big thing that you're doing this. This is one next thing. What did they say? No ABS-CBN na parang plano mo po Um, again, um, sobrang thankful ako sa ABS and again with um, aging I said all those um, wonderful things. For, for me talaga, I think uh, I would just love to be cast for a project na again, they think I'm the best um, actor, best put actor to, to be in that project. Um, again, for me kasi talaga lahat ng artist, in my uh, perspective, uh, like From the, the biggest role to the, because I have a theater perspective, where it's the biggest role to the 
uh, person it's with one, one, one line. Lahat kami dito are artists lang. Even the crew and the, the staff. And anyone who's in the creative field talaga. On an equal playing field in my opinion. So I respect every single one. And uh, every role, again, every role counts. Because it's not about the actors, not even about the stars. It's about the story and the message we're trying to prepare, uh, portray to an audience. Honestly, great. You know, I'm talking to you. We forget that Maple Baby Cat. Um, in, in that sense, but I think, of course, um, with um, my per particular uh, background and my particular situation, of course, it's uh, opened a lot of doors, and I can't uh, deny that, of course. And of course, awareness of who I my. Um, my last name is and this and that but I would say for me in, in my journey as you said nga po, parang I always lean to who Gray Fernandez is kung sino ako hinahanap like yung mas bata pa nga po parang hinahanap mo pa with, with anyone in, of, um, in life naman you're still looking for who you truly are so I think now that I'm 22 I'm more matured parang mas may mas madami na po perspectives mas madami na po ideas and I have a lot to say now and I think that's what I have to bring. Uh, that's what I have to bring on a table. It's it's me, talaga, and what I believe in. Do you try to veer away? Na para na kanang artista, be on your own. Um, not necessarily. I just again be as authentic as possible as I as I can. And um, if it, if that is what I'm doing, and again what I'm honestly trying to do. Um, being as honest I, as I possibly can. Kung nag-fear po po siya, it's not um, pre-planned, not pre-planned, not um, premeditated, ano lang siya. It's just on the same path of what I'm um, being as genuine uh, gray as I can. What's your dad alone? It's like, kamusta siya? Nasabihan ka ba niya? Congratulations? Yeah, yeah. Sa set po sa Baguio, he visited me for a couple times. He, he was there for Father's Day. So I'm very thankful for him and that. Again, he's a very um, um, supportive person. Even even when I went to New York, he's very supportive. He knows my career and he just gives me tips. And um, and again, he he honestly just wants the best for me and he wants me to be my own um, um, man. So, what's the most important tip that you've given your dad? You know your dad has been in the industry for the longest and now you're starting then. Just be brave, be fearless, be bold. You know, you have to really go for what you believe and fight for it till till the end, talaga. And um, whatever my perspective is, again, kung nasa tama naman talaga ako, ipaglalaban ko po yan. Especially again, in an acting in an acting sense, creative sense, we're we're lawyers of, for our characters and we're lawyers um, for what we believe the character should go and what he should do, be doing. So, if may creative input ka na, like uh, your other co-artists are disagreeing, you still have to present your case na, oh, this is why I think na ito yung dapat gawin ni Justin, or ito dapat yung reaction ko, or ito yung dapat na move na gawin ko, in a sense. So, just have, really be um, fearless for what what do you think um, and what do you believe. Hindi mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. na ayaw nila katrabaho yung parents nila kasi pinatakot sila or baka ayaw lang nila talaga medyo awkward. Ito yeah. ba gusto mo makatrabaho yung dad? Again, uh, it's again. So I look at it as um, um, if if there's a role that's suited for him and a role suited for me, and if the story fits both of our, our like again our natural um, inclinations as as an artist and as an actor, I would definitely love to to do that um, if if that role in that project and that material comes comes how about, about. How about your grandfather? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does she say anything now that you're, you're so active in your mm -hmm. time? Mm -hmm. um, she's so, my grandma, Mama Nes, Mama LT, uh, they're so proud of me, um, especially for this project because you know, they, they've seen my uh, growth as an actor. Of course, magbaguhan po any with any um, newbie actor like a couple years ago, siyempre, it's very awkward, very unnatural. Whereas now, I, I would say I'm having more fun and just, again, having uh, more um, 
presence and showing who Gray is ag again. Because uh, I think, again, it comes with maturity. Parang hinahanap ko pa yung sarili ko before. Parang ngayon, mas, mas may, may foundation na ako. May, mas may foundation na ako. Family has issues or any issues thrown against you. Mm -hmm. How? What did they say? How do you deal with that? Mm -hmm. Um, for me, naman po, like um, I'm actually very old school. Kasi talaga ako, like um, I don't, I rarely use social media in the sense na thinking about, especially me. More so, I just it's a it's a um, outlet for again for work. It's a more of a work thing for me, um, and I really don't check out the comments about me especially if it's negative or possibly I, I like in human interaction uh, face to face you know so um, nine times out of ten talaga like um, if I get that from a person again that would be more so informative and constructive so I, I again I only use social media uh, for the for the good of course it's, it's we're in the age of information lahat po ng, uh, Information ng mundo, ang dami po natin matutunan sa Google, sa internet na dun dapat, dun dapat po natin hinahakot yung resources of, 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 of social media for our technology of the 21st century. Um, kasi I have stories from my you know grandparents or like mga titos lang na parang if you wanted to know something you have to go to a library, kailangan mo talaga search it's a, it's, a, it's a process, it's a time. We're living in a time na and dito lang po in the in the palm of our hands literally na ang dami mong pwedeng gawin sa ano natin sa technology natin. Mm -hmm. So what's your experience with the first question here? Obviously, mm -hmm. I think again like any relationship is built uh, built out of time talaga. and just the um, uh, investment of time and the presence of one with um, with the other person so of course naturally um, yung Yung relationship po namin tatlo from the start, as you said, from the, from now is so different. It's it's um, delved in so many more different levels and um, complexities. And um, again, these are now like my brothers for life. So I'm very thankful for that. Is there anything you can share off camera na people don't see that side of them? I think I don't know if they know. They have wonderful senses of humor. Talaga, sobrang ang ganda ng sense of humor nila, sobrang um, witty. I don't, I, I don't think that that um, comes out of your public pers uh, public sphere as much. Pero I think their sense of humor is really funny. Dream, what's next for you? Because I heard tapos na rin kayo mag-shoot ng yeah. media sa grado. What's next for you? Um, I'm, I'm flying back on Tuesday. I'm going back to New York to uh, finish my happy in school. So uh, I'll be there, so let's say maybe mid-year next year just to finish it out and then uh, um for uh, one school year so i'll be back or uh, i have no definite plans but even when they pitched me with a project because i was coming from new york and um, i got the pitch when i was um in summer vacation uh, miss kylie of dreamscape was the first one to reach out and i told them i'm already set and um set and uh, bound to do the second year just to complete the school so I have to ask school first if I can for defer for a year and uh, school said yes so um, thankfully uh, uh, Stella Adler it's an uh, acting school yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, um, I think the most prominent alumni from the school right now is uh, Maya Hawk. She was in Inside Out. Do you have time for dating? Ah, more on the focus. Just focus on the lang focus on work, get family, work, get family. Alright, thank you so much. We will see you next year. Oh, he's a uh, sobrang intense to Kuyo I, I love him and um, the stories he would say again, his, his whole career, his whole life, talaga, it's, a, it's an amazing, um, ano talaga, amazing opportunity to work with such a passionate guy. Saka makikita, sabi na sa akin, sabi po sa akin ni Coco Martin na sobra, uh, madami pong um, artistang magagaling at uh, hanga po siya. Pero masasabi po ni Coco Martin na siya ang pinaka masipag 
na artista. Of course, he's a producer, he's a director. Napakatalinong tao, napakatalinong artista. And I would, uh, again, I, I completely agree. Strict ba siya? No, no, no. He's very collaborative po. He's super collaborative talaga. Pag may ano lang talaga, more on the strictness would be on the technicalities of the actions, the physicality. Kung paano sumutok, kung paano humawak ng baril, paano yung gate. Pero... Character wise, psychological wise. Um, actually, one of my interests in is just really to do like theater. But I'm so I, I would love because I've never done a professional setting of theater. So maybe again, if I audition as much as I can. Um, if um, of course, we in, sa, sa ano po sa tao dito sa school po namin, may mga free tickets po kami. And so most of the shows. Any musical that you wish? Ah, okay. I wish to do that. Yeah. More so straight plays. I, I would I would say like um, uh, Tennessee Williams, those kind of plays. I would say uh, Arthur Miller, um, or even Shakespeare. Um, because I can't. I I'm not. I can sing, but I'm not as comfortable to do yeah, musical yeah, theater play, yet. But yeah. again, we don't never know what's in the future. But again, um. If if the opportunity comes about, I'd love to do an off Broadway um, production, and that would be a dream. Great one for you.